Patty from Patty's Crafty Spot and I'm here to share with you my latest design team project for Crayolese and I made this cute adorable little baby banner and let me just show you the, the dies that I used so from oops, I'll drop them off so from cards I used the baby and this is 153 I also used from cards number 19 the baby onesie and for my little side embellishments I used uno number 57 and I uh, used extra number 42 it's a little baby bottle and then to create the banner from big labels and tags number 14 and the regular labels and tags number 14 so those are all the dies that I used to create this and let me show you what we're looking at. So I made two versions, a little girl version and a little boy version. So you can see the pink and the blue here. And I'll try to show this the best I can. It is hard because it's so long, but there'll be pictures before and after you can check out. So let me show you the baby boy version. So it hangs like this. And it's got the ties. And I have a whole video, um, a little mini tutorial to kind of walk you through how I made this. So if you want to make one too, you can. So if you have any questions, leave them down below. Otherwise, enjoy the video that you're about to watch. And until next time, guys, enjoy. All right, so I'm going to show you how to make the pieces for the banner. So this is the, what it's going to look like. And we're using some pop dots to pop things up to add dimension. So let me show you the products that we are going to use. So from cards number 153, we are using the baby die. So those will be for our words. We are also using from cards number 19. This is the baby onesie. For the banner pieces, we're going to be using the big labels and tags, and this one is number 14, as well as the smaller labels and tags, number 14. And then from extra, the little baby bottle, and this is number 42. And then from Uno dies, this is number 57, and this is a small onesie. So those are what we're going to use for our dies. So let's see, we're going to grab this one here. I'm going to show you how to assemble it. So you need some cardstock pieces. I'm making this three layers. And these are just cut out and the sizes for the largest one is five by six and a half. And everything just goes down a quarter inch. So this is four and three quarters by six and a quarter and four and a half by six. So we're going to start off by attaching these all together. And I'm just adding some glue. And I'm going to center it to my space. Make sure it's all flattened down so hopefully we won't get any blue bumps showing. And this one. So 
so that's what you have right here. And then we need our labels. So now what you want to do on these for the outer piece, you need to go ahead and score this piece one and a half inches. And we're going to fold this down. And now we're going to take our next piece. And this would be pattern paper or whatever you want to use. I use some shiny solid colored cardstock. And now you want to figure out how much space that you're going to have between, you know, like the outer piece and the inner piece. And you want to mimic it at the top and cut that off. So you want to line it up. And then I'm just going to eyeball it. Right there, and I'm going to cut that off. So this is what I cut off. We don't need that piece, so we can get rid of it. And then with this piece folded over, I'm going to go ahead and attach this piece right here. So I'm just going to make sure that I have enough space that I wanted. So I'm going to glue this one down. And it looks like that. And we have our flap. Now you can go ahead and glue this one down here. So on this piece here, because of how I'm adding my ribbon, you want to leave about a quarter inch or so, or I'm going down, these dies have stitch lines, so I'm actually going to be going down about two and a half stitch lines down from the top. So you want to have it, let's see, you want to have a little step, you can see right there. And this part here we're not attaching yet because it's what's going to tuck over our ribbon and keep our banner in place. So we can go ahead and glue this piece down. And you want to center it to your space. right there. And now we need to go ahead and put our baby onesie together. So let's do the letter first. So this is the letter B I cut out. And now let's do our onesie. And that cute little pattern. I thought it was super cute. The camera's not picking it up, but it's got like more green in it. And center this to that one. And now we're going to go ahead and attach on our little collar. And you use the same die to do the leg ones. So for this, I'm just going to add, you have to cut these down. So I'm just going to touch them here. And then this side. So they're a little bigger than the halfway part or halfway mark. So you can't just cut these in half and use those. You have to actually cut 
the separate ones. So now it's overhanging, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut off the excess. have that. So what I'm going to do, now I'm using two different thicknesses of pop dots. So, and that's just my preference because I just want to add a little extra dimension. So I'm using some thinner ones. So these ones are, I don't know how big they are. They're probably, I don't see my ruler off hand. They're probably about a quarter inch. Thick that is. So that's all on the B. Oh, I forgot the buttons. So there's also buttons in, I would say on these buttons here, add some double sided tape to your cardstock because there is no way you're going to get glue on these teeny tiny little buttons. So save yourself the headache and just add some double-sided tape to it. And then you can just stick them on. I'll show you in one second. So you can see how tiny they are. So if you just add some double-sided tape, that would save you a headache of trying to glue those. So with my pop dots now, I'm going to go ahead and center my B on there. I must have glue on my finger because everything keeps sticking to it. And I'm going to center my B. Stick that down. And then I'm using some even thicker pop darts. You can see how thick these are. They're like really thick. So there's that one. It's like twice the size. Or you could just get regular, just some some regular pop dots and just double up the thickness. But I just kind of like the look of it. So just going with it a little thicker. And I've had these for a billion years, so. But you can get them at any craft store. Or you don't even have to use them. You could just keep everything laying flat. But I think the dimension kind of adds to it a little bit. All right, and now we're going to stick this guy down. Oops. Papers on both sides of this one. And I'm going to go ahead and add my onesie to this one. Again, trying to center it to the space. And there we go. We have that. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and make the other two off camera. And I will be back to show you how we're going to put it together. And I'll also show you quick how to do the smaller pieces. So I'm going to show you how to do the smaller accent pieces to the banner. So on the, so I'm using the number 14, the smaller die. I'm using the larger two. So of course the outside piece will be your cardstock. And I scored this one at a half an inch and pulled it over. So we're making these just like we made the other ones. And then again, just take the piece that would be your pattern paper. And of course I'm using the solid cardstock. 
and line it up and cut off that piece. And then we're going to glue it down. So I'm not doing the square pieces of cardstock for this because these are just going to go in between my letters and they're just going to be like little, little accent pieces. So I went ahead and cut out my little onesies. Now with the onesies you get the small little pieces here. Again, just like the buttons, I would suggest using double-sided cardstock with sticky tape on it. I mean, a double-sided cardstock. Double-sided tape with on your cardstock. Because these pieces are so tiny that you're never going to get them glued down without your glue looking like a mess. So, stick that on. Just like that. And cut off the excess. And then in the top piece. Look how cute that is. It's so cute. And now I'm using my thinner pop dots for this. So I'm going to add, the only thing I'm popping up is the onesie. So I am making three with the onesie and two with the baby bottle. So I'm just going to line it up, center it to here, and there we go. Super cute. So I'm going to go ahead and finish making those. So I'm going to do three onesies and two baby bottles. So I have all my little pieces made now. So I went ahead and did my baby bottles. So now we're going to assemble it. So I cut a very long strip of ribbon and I fold it in half to find my center, which is right there. So that way I know I'll have even amounts on both sides. So what I'm going to do is start off to make sure I'm centered is this is the very middle piece. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this right onto my ribbon. So this is why we created the little flap. So I'm going to add some glue and lace this on. And I'm also just going to add a little bit of tape to the back side just so I know it stays down tight while the glue is drying. And you won't see it anyway. So, so we have that. So now we need to go ahead and do baby. So we're going to start off we're going to go this way first. So I'm going in one inch increments spacing. So I'm going to add some glue. And I'm, I have my grid right here. So these are one inch squares. So that's how I'm going to line this up. And it doesn't have to be exact, just close enough. So I have one inch space and from here to here. Some more glue. And now I am going to add a, sh let's see, a shirt baby battle. So that's my next piece. And that's why we created those flaps in the back so we have something to attach to the ribbon. This ribbon's cute because it's pink and blue, and I also have a girl banner I'm making, so the ribbon will be perfect because I can alternate, um, alternate between the two. Let's see, a 
All of a sudden, I forgot how to spell baby. All right, and now I need my Y. So I'm just going to continue doing this, and I will be back and show you the end part of it, because you don't need to see me keep gluing on, you know what I'm doing. So we are just going to continue. So now this, the last piece will be the shirt on the end, and then I'll go back the other way and do the other letters. All right, so I know it's hard to see on the camera, because I can't put the whole banner in because it's long, but you can see this is how B A B B. So you can see, and then that would just hang. So it would hang like that. I know it's hard to tell. I'll put pictures so you can see what it will look like. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that quick little tutorial on this simple, cute little baby banner. And if you're watching this on the Praley's YouTube channel or Patty's Crafty Spot YouTube channel, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more inspiration in paper crafting. And until next time, guys, bye.